Good evening. Well, the weather has certainly been causing some disruption over the past few days with a combination of heavy rain, strong winds and thunderstorms too. Now, that unsettled theme continues through the week ahead. We've got further rain at times. It'll often feel quite breezy and also quite cool for the time of year. Not great weather for the middle of the school holidays, I'm afraid. Low pressure that brought all that extreme weather over the past few days drifting towards the east, but we've still got some weather fronts producing outbreaks of rain. So through the course of tonight, we've still got some rain across parts of Scotland Scotland's northern England too. Heavy showers through central parts of England and Wales should fade away over the next few hours. So by the time we get to Monday morning, then we've just got a bit of rain lingering across parts of the northeast of England. Many of us seeing a drier start to the day, but also some heavy showers further south along the south coast, I think, during the course of Monday morning. Now, through the course of the day, it'll feel different than recent days. A cooler northwesterly airflow that should bring a mix of sunshine and showers. Heavy showers in the southeast at first and then more working in from the northwest later in the day. But those temperatures only about 14 to 19 degrees, so not as warm, not as humid as it has been recently. As those showers clear away towards the east on Tuesday, it will be a drier, quieter, less breezy day, I think. There'll be some sunshine. It'll feel relatively pleasant with temperatures just about getting up to 20 degrees in the warmest spots. Some rain moving in from the west and do be prepared for more wet and windy weather across particularly England and Wales by Wednesday. Bye bye.